Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Redwood Materials has just shown a nice new video of how good their recycled materials are compared to mining for new ones and just how much they are already recycling on their own. And combine that with the knowledge we have from the World Health Organization, United Nations Development Program and the United States and British Geological Survey. We can see that EVs are clearly the future despite all all the disinformation out there and Tesla is leading in sustainability no matter what the corrupt activists would like to tell the world so let's put a few nails in the coffin of misinformation about BEVs and ice cars because we have some numbers that will probably shock a lot of people so let's check it all out and let's dive right in So one very important aspect of EVs that is usually overlooked by critics is that batteries can be recycled. Redwood Materials recycled process has been validated by Aragon National Laboratory and the US Department of Energy. The company's recycled materials are reported to perform as well as or better than newly mined materials, promoting a circular economy in battery production. In 2024, Redwood Materials recycled by themselves 20 gigawatt hours of batteries. And no, gasoline cannot be recycled. That is why someone like Transport and Environment that I have shown many times before, but I still see so many people not getting this. So here we go again. When recycling is taken into calculation of an EV, you can see that it is quite insane that we even have this discussion with so many people as there really is no comparison here. As Transport and Environment wrote in their study from 2021. Over its lifetime, an average ice car burns close to 17,000 liters of petrol or around 13,500 liters of diesel. If those oil barrels were stacked end to end, they would make a tower 70 to 90 meters high, approximately the height of a 25 story building. And that was one car. On the other hand, the metals used in battery cells are around 160 kilos based on the average battery size and composition. When taken into calculation, the recycling of the battery cell materials and that the majority of the metal content is recovered, only around 30 kilograms of metals would be lost for the average battery considered or the size of a football. The way of petrol and diesel fuel that is burned during the average lifetime of a vehicle is around 300 to 400 times more of the total quantity of battery cells materials that are not recovered. So the materials wasted in an ICE vehicle is about 300 to 400 times, not percent, 400 times more than petrol or diesel. And the extra CO2 used in making the battery in the first place will on average be made up for within the first year of the car's life depending on how clean your grid are and how many miles you drive every year. There simply is no comparison between ICE and BEVs. ICE uses 300 to 400 times more materials over its lifetime. And on top of that, it emits toxic gas into the air in our cities, killing millions of people every year. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution causes 1.8 million deaths due to lung diseases and cancer every year. 9 out of 10 people breathe polluted air. 
well above a World Health Organization's air quality guidelines. And that is something that the ice cars in our cities is a big contributor to. So never mind the 300 to 400 times more materials, but the ice car is killing millions of people every year from the toxic gases they spit out in our cities. So the ice car will never become a part of the circular economy we need to get to to save ourselves and our planet. But BEVs can be part of this circular economy, as its batteries can be recycled, as Redwood Materials has demonstrated, and Tesla has also recycled 100% of their batteries. And don't forget that Tesla's Giga Berlin factory leads in sustainability, recycling up to 100% of the factory's process wastewater and using just 1.8 cubic meter of water per Model Y, far below the industry average of 3.7 cubic meters. So this clearly shows you that the so-called activists protesting against Tesla because of water consumption and not the other OEMs that is using at least twice as much water shows they are clearly a corrupt organization. Let's hear it from Tesla Berlin team themselves. Welcome to the Tesla Process Wastewater Treatment Plant. We are part of the technical service team and we are in charge of the operation of this zero liquid discharge plant. What does it mean, zero liquid discharge? It means that our plant receives all the processed wastewater of the factory and we recycle up to 100% of the water. The waste element is then converted into solid and disposed. In the end of this process, we only have a solid residue. This means that all the processed wastewater we received in the beginning has been recycled and reused. No wastewater and no liquid discharge. In this way, we reduce the consumption of fresh water. This is an innovation for the automotive industry. Tesla is committed to a sustainable future via our products and our processes. If they want to be protesting against a factory that use a lot of water, well, the jeans factory in the Berlin area use about three to five times as much water to make one pair of jeans than Tesla does to produce a whole Tesla Model Y. That will probably last about 10 to 15 years and be recycled. If the jeans last one to two years, well, they have done very well. And according to the Circular Gap report on textile, the global textile industry is only 1.3% circular, so basically nothing, as almost nothing of the textile is recycled. So it seems like the electric car is even better for the environment than the pair of jeans you're probably wearing right now. Let's just hear it from the ambassador from the United Nations Development Program, Michel Yo, explaining just how much water we use to make a pair of jeans. Can you imagine what we drink in 10 years only goes to make one pair of jeans? And that's 10,000 liters of water. Did you know that? Well, I didn't. Um, and so, but there are ways around it. And that is called sustainable fashion. We can be conscious citizens, informed citizens. Don't buy fast fashion. It's a lot of wastage. Uh, check the labels because uh, sustainable fashion has labels that tell you it's made from uh, tree fibers, monocell, lysel, um, modal. So check the labels. Um, be aware of the debate. Be an informed citizen. So it makes no sense for people to talk about the materials we mine for BV batteries as they will actually become part of a circular economy. And at the same time, it will also limit our dependence on China for battery materials as we do today, as recycling will become the new mining and keep the materials in the countries. As Redwood Materials also wrote, the recycling facility has become the first nickel mine to be opened in the US in a decade. And this will also help tremendously to get us to a sustainable future, as Redwood has also shown that their recycling versus normal mining Mining uses 80% less energy for the same materials, 80% reduction in water consumption as well, and 70% reduction in CO2 emission. And Redwood has even found ways to make their recycling emit 40% less CO2 than other recycling facilities. So very impressive. And don't forget, EV batteries are constantly getting 
better. To give an example, my old Tesla Model 3 long range from 2019 has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack and had a 567 kilometers WLTP when it came out. Today you can buy the standard range Tesla Model 3 that has only a 57 kilowatt hour battery and will give you 513 kilometers of WLTP. Or the new long range will get you over 700 kilometers WLTP. So you can use much less batteries to get the same kind of range as we could just five or six years ago. And just imagine when the new Frest Model 3 is recycled 15 years from now, how much better it will have become yet again. So like Elon has also said, when the entire fleet of 2 billion cars that are on the road or something like that is replaced with BEVs, we basically never have to mine again, as the material will just be part of the circular economy. So yes, we always hear, we need more resources to build an EV than an ICE car. This is the general conception from many people, but this could not be further from the truth. Yes, to build the EV takes more materials because of the battery, but that is not the end use of a car. You don't build the car and throw it away. No, a car's average lifespan is 15 years or about 200 to 300,000 miles. And here the ICE car needs a lot of resources that is being dug up from the ground just like metals and are burned once where the materials in your EV battery can be recycled again and again and again and again. And in transport and environment study that I showed before, also showed that the electric cars outperform diesel and petrol cars in all scenarios, even on a carbon intensive grid such as Poland, that is the worst grid in Europe, the BEV still wins by far. So like I showed in my video called The Materials We Mind, I showed this very nice illustration made by the British Geological Survey in 2019. So the amount it will of course be off as we continue to mine even more of everything, as the Circular Gap Report 2024 also showed that what we consumed in the last six years is nearly as much materials as we did in total consumption in the 20th century. Six years against an entire century. Or put another way, in the same period, we have consumed over 500 gigatons of materials. That's 28% of all materials humanity has consumed since 1900. Crazy. But anyway, even though this chart is six years old, we can get an idea of the proportion of the materials that we mine. As you can see, there is a huge block here, almost looking like a skyscraper. And no, that is not lithium ore, that is iron ore. Where every little brick in that building represents one million tons of iron ore, which make up roughly 94% of all the metals that we dig up from the ground. And then here in the middle we have the industrial metals. That is being dwarfed by the iron ore, but still some big piles there. And then we go over here to the technical and precious metal on the right here. And here we have all the goodies like lithium, cobalt, silver, gold, tin and many others. But all of them, all of these metals combined is about 1.3 million tons. So only a little more than one of the small bricks in the skyscraper of the iron ore. Precious metal is nothing in the greater schemes of what we mine. And Tesla has even found ways not to use any precious metals in their new upcoming electric motor. And remember, LFP batteries doesn't use any cobalt at all. And that is more than 50% of all the batteries in Tesla's cars. So according to the United States Geological Survey, to get to a 100% sustainable energy economy, we only need less than 30% of the known resources of lithium. And as Tesla said, we find more lithium every year. The more we look, the more we find. But the already known resources according to the United States Geological Survey, we have more than enough. So the argument about not having enough materials is simply not true. And that is not me saying that or Tesla saying that. No, that is the United States 
Geological Survey, a scientific agency of the United States government, and also the British Geological Survey, saying this, and transport and environment studies saying this. We have more than enough. And again, a 100% sustainable economy will require less material, less than on a fossil fuel, because fossil fuel is so inefficient. So EVs are part of the 100% renewable energy economy, part of the circular economy. Fossil fuel are not and can never be. We only need to dig up a fraction of the pressure metals compared to what we already mine from the earth especially compared to all the oil we mine from the earth. And we have more than enough of all the metals we need. And in the question of EV versus ice, an ice car consumes more than 300 to 400 times more resources than EVs over their lifetime. When we take recycling into calculation, as the materials we do mine for the EV's batteries, we can recycle forever. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>